Last week, Walt Disney World got all the love from us. This week, we're switching the tables around. This is Disneyland's turn. These are our 14 things that we think Disneyland does better than Disney World. This is episode 84. I'm Soraya. I'm Aurora. And together, we're just your average Disney travelers. So we love both. We love Disney World and we love Disneyland. Last week we focused on the positives, the pros for Disney Disney World, and this week Disneyland's turn. Yep. And there's just as many because we really do think they're both great. It just depends on what it is you're looking for and what's going to work for you. So the first one for Disneyland is the fact that it's so compact. We talked about the big bubble at Disney World. Um, there's just so much stuff there, and it's huge bubble, but it's a tiny little bubble at Disneyland. You can literally walk anywhere on Disney property. You do not need to um, rent, you know, have a car drive you from one side to the other, or from one park to each other. That's literally just steps away from each other. You could walk from one end of the property to the other in less than 20 minutes. It's yeah, really, really convenient, very easy. No matter what hotel you're staying at, no matter what park you're in, you can get anywhere you need to go. And that includes some of the off-property hotels. A lot of the good neighbor hotels are right along the, the side of the property, and so you can easily walk from there onto Disney property in just as much time, um, which makes it a lot easier to stay off property if that's where your budget's at, which, we're going to be honest, that's where our budget is at. <laughs> we almost always stay off property when we're at Disneyland. Because you still have the convenience of being close, um, but it's a lot more affordable. Yeah, so that is definitely a plus at Disneyland. What's another one? Um, it is easier to be spontaneous, although you now have to um, kind of like... How do you, well, like, we have those park pass reservations still, so yeah. it's not as easy to be spontaneous as it used to be before COVID. Yeah, but it's definitely easier. I still easier. feel like, yeah, I still feel like Disneyland, you can be more spontaneous than Disney World for and a few reasons. Like, the hopping? Is... Yes. You can hop earlier at Disneyland yes. than you can at Disney World. It's at 1 o'clock at Disneyland. But it's also Disney... much more convenient. Yeah, it takes less time to hop because, like I said, it's literally steps away. From one park gate to the other is less than, like, two minutes. It's literally walking. You could just walk across that plaza in probably a minute. Yeah. And so, it's easy. I mean, I can't express how easy it is <laughs> to be able to go from park to park if you have that hopper option on your pass. And so there's that. There's also um, just, it's, I don't know, I just feel like uh, it's just a little bit less um, chaotic. I, 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 maybe it's because it's what we're used to. Yes, to yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's that. Um, but I feel like things just kind of work smoother a lot of times at Disneyland in a lot of these areas. You don't, we've never ever had to book things out, make reservations out as far in advance as you do at Disney World. And it's still true at Disneyland. Now granted, Disney World now also their advanced dining reservations are at 60 days like ours have always been at Disneyland. But um, it's just there's more I feel like you can get last minute um, or shorter notice than you do at Disney World. Disney World, those things book up a lot faster. Yes. Okay, so yeah, just a little bit easier to be spontaneous there. Um, most of the time, the weather is better at Disneyland in general. Like, it can still be hot. You can still have rain sometimes. Yep. But Disney World has that you can just count on it. Every day in the summer is going to be a thunderstorm. And yeah. That has never happened to me at Disneyland. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I've had rainstorms, but that was like in February when you expect a rainstorm, not in yeah. the summer. And it was over pretty quickly. At least ours was. I don't know how they normally are. Yeah, it just depends. But um, I've been where it rained all day one time. But mm -hmm. but yeah, most of the time at Disneyland, it's just not as bad. It doesn't mean that it will never have bad weather at Disneyland. They do have bad weather at Disneyland. Just like they do anywhere else on the planet. <laughs> you will have <laughs> bad days everywhere at some point. But more often than not, the weather is more consistently nicer or agreeable at Disneyland than Disney World. Yes. Okay. All right, next one. Churros. Churros. They have a much 
bigger variety and at Disneyland. At Disneyland. Yes, you have a lot more of those seasonal flavors at Disneyland. I don't know if Disney World doesn't have any of those seasonal flavors or if they just don't have as many because it seems to I just it's hard to for me to believe that they don't ever have any of them, but it's consistently everyone agrees Disneyland has just got the better churros. I mean, the Fluffernutter one. Oh my gosh. And the <laughs> s'mores. S'mores is coming back this summer. I'm hoping it's there when we go. Um, there's yes. just some yeah. great, great flavors at Disneyland on their churros. I'm sorry. They're just better there. And there's some people that it just blows me away that they don't think so. And I just think, what do you have? What's wrong with you that you don't like churros enough to realize how awesome Disneyland's are? But okay, that's all right. That, I, I think that's just a sore subject for us. <laughs> we, we just love our churros. We're emotionally connected to them. <laughs> okay, the next one is going to be the Disneyland parties uh, that they have. Oh, so uh, they have, party names have been changing a little di differently since COVID. And also Disneyland has now begun having, or at least last year, they did have an after hours event that was paid. But I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is in general, still, at least as of last year, the celebrations that they have for that are holiday centered at Disneyland are free. They're just every night. The snow on Main Street, you know, the um, the special parade or, you know, characters being around and things like that. Just in general, the special shows, those just are for everybody. They had additional things for um, after hours events, but, you know, I don't know. I just think it's really cool that you have the option to experience all of the, for the most part, um, all the stuff that you get at the parties at Disney World, but without the extra cost. Now, Disneyland still has a fee. Uh, you have to pay for tickets for their Halloween party, like Disney yeah. World's. But I think it's a plus, to me at least, because I love Christmas, and I love Christmas at Disneyland. I just love that I get that without having to pay an extra ticketed price for like I would if I was going to Disney World. Yeah. All right, so next. Um, overall, they have shorter lines at there. In general, Disneyland usually is. Yeah. And part of that's because so many of the people that go are locals, and so they don't put up with, if they see a long line, they just don't get in it because they'll do it later, you know? Yeah. And part of it is that the, Disneyland has so many more attractions that it spreads out the people more. Um, I don't know. It, it's just, it seems like, even though it might look, because everything, like I've talked about in, um, before with Disney World being more spread out, and so it felt emptier, like you didn't feel as crowded, but when it comes down to it, even if it looks like the lines are longer, they're actually not usually. Most of the time, the lines really aren't that bad. Yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> and for certain rides. There are some rides that are always going to be long. Yes. Peter Springs is always going to have a long line. Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, for the most part, in general, you can get shorter. You can find rides that have shorter lines. Um, back to the holidays. Better overlays in general. So, uh, on the attractions. Yes. They have more of them at Disneyland, I oh, feel yeah. like. Haunted Mansion is a oh, yeah. big one. Yeah. Yeah, that and It's a Small World. Yeah. But even over at, like, Cars Land, Luigi's and Mater both have... Halloween and Christmas makeovers. Mm -hmm. um, there, it's kind of in small ways, but it's just those little touches that you just get. That, in fact, all of Cars Land gets totally themed for um, Christmas. I'm trying to remember if they do for Halloween. I think they do, but um, yeah, I think they do. Not all, not all of the lands get that much attention during the holidays, but yeah, I just feel like Disneyland knows how to do Christmas and Halloween, and and it's not that. Disney World doesn't. They do great things, especially during uh, Christmas time. But um, as far as these attractions go, they have some at Disney World, but more at Disneyland. Which yes. is funny, because Disneyland has fewer attractions mm -hmm. in general. Okay, um, let's see. My turn. Oh, never mind. Your turn. Um, Disneyland still has Toontown. Yeah, Disney World got rid of theirs. They got rid of theirs when they were making room for the new Fantasyland. Um, now, of course, our Toontown town is closed right now, <laughs> but that's only because they're refurbishing it. They're, they're totally reimagining yeah. it, and it's coming back, and it's not going to disappear. 
And I love that. I think that's great that there's a spot for the kids, especially, and not just little kids, because we, we, I almost always go into Toontown at least to go see Mickey and Minnie, and, and for sure when it reopens, we're going to go see Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Um, so it's, it's just a cute, fun area. So yeah. I'm glad that they had it, and that's something that Disney World does not have anymore. And along those lines, Disneyland also still has so many of their dark rides. Um, which are original, like the original rides to the park. I would, I was I was thinking about it. So at Disney Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World, they no longer have a single attraction that was original to the when that park opened, because of all of the changes that have been made and rides. Like the last one was when the Great Movie Ride got made over to be the um, oh my gosh, Mickey Minnie's Ra- Runaway Railway. Um, yeah, they no longer have an original attraction. Now, granted, I think they only opened with six attractions, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that might have something to do with it. But Disneyland um, has some of those classics still. The Snow White. Now, granted, it's kind of gotten a little bit of uh, an upgrade. Yeah, but it's still Snow White. Um, Pino- um, Pinocchio wasn't original, actually. I think Pocahontas. Jungle Cruise. Oh no, that's not original. Uh, they what? yeah. Oh, I know what it was original. They did an update to yeah, it. Yeah, they just they've Quickly. updated it, but it was still oh, yeah. but it's still Jungle Cruise. Uh, so um, was Space Mountain? No, no, no. But I don't remember if it was original or not. <laughs> but anyways, all those dark rides that keep kind of disappearing at Disney World are still there. We still have Alice. We still have Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. We still have Peter Pan. We have Pinocchio. We have Winnie the Pooh. We have Snow White, and so. We have tons of dark rides that Disney World has kind of phased out of a little bit. They have a couple left, but that's it. Yeah. So, anyways, I think that's pretty cool. We mentioned this briefly last week, but it's something that me and Mom feel yeah. very strongly about. <laughs> Fantasmic. The show itself, not the stadium. Because yes, because Land doesn't have a stadium. Because, like we said, last week, the fact that they have a stadium is at better Disney World. at Disney World. But the show itself, we still prefer Disneyland. Yes. Granted, Disney World is, they have not reopened their Phantasmic yet, and when they do, we don't know, they, we know that they've made changes. So it'll be but interesting to see. we don't know how much Yeah, we don't know exactly. What. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, hopefully they've made improvements to make it so that they're comparable, because I do like seeing it there too. But, um, but yeah, right now, as of right now, we prefer the Fantasmic at Disneyland. Even though we have to sit on the ground <laughs> to watch it. <laughs> yeah. We still like that one better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Disneyland Forever Fireworks. Okay. Last week, I talked about how the night shows are comparable and all that, yada, yada, and their fireworks, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. They don't always have Disneyland Forever Fireworks, even at Disneyland. Obviously, they wouldn't at Disney World because it's Disneyland Forever Fireworks. But they are back right now. And for me personally, this is a purely my biased opinion. I personally feel like they are the best fireworks I have seen Disney do. I would like to mention that this is completely mom. (laughs) (laughs) This is my contribution. So you know what? I'll add on to the specific to Disneyland, not just because I'm pretty sure this is only Disneyland. The uh, Paint the Night. Is that the night? Yeah. Okay, that's just Disneyland. I I don't think that well, it might have made it over there for a period of time, but it's ba- it's mostly here. Yeah. Okay. And it's not there. It's it, good it, enough right for me. now. Right now, it's not going at all though. Well, yeah. But yeah. But, but, here, but let me go back to the Disneyland it's, fireworks. It's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because with enchantment, they yeah. everyone is going on and on about beforehand. I actually haven't really heard much talk since it re they had that show start, but. They were going on, oh, I can't imagine what it will be like to have projections all up and down Main Street. Well, we could <laughs> because we've had that for years, literally years we've been doing that at Disneyland. And I think it might have started with Disneyland Forever Fireworks. That's the first time that I remember seeing it the most. Um, but I also love that those projections are not just up and down Main Street. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's, on, it's a small world facade. It's on the Matterhorn. And it's on the Rivers of America projection, the the water screen projections. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just so amazingly cool. 
And I'm sorry, but that has that is my very favorite fireworks show that I have seen yet from Disney, and it's a Disneyland, and I, it will never be a Disney World because it's Disneyland forever fireworks. Yes. So, anyways, I'll get off my soapbox now. What's the next thing you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, Genie Plus. Yeah, it just seems to work better. It has not been going well at Disney World. You know what they were saying um, is that a lot of the parks at Disney World, people are only getting like two or three attractions through Disney Genie Plus um, per day. And that's kind of lame, you know? Yeah. It's just not... It's, is that it's just what causing, they're given or what they choose? There's just not very many... First of all, there's not very many options and then there's lots of demand for it because there's not very many options. Disney is At Magic Kingdom, it's a little bit better. But what I've been hearing is that Disneyland, it's working so much smoother... Partly, I think it's because it's a similar, not identical, but similar, similar to, program to Max Pass, yeah. which the people at Disneyland are just more familiar with. We've been using this type of program for years now, and so it wasn't that hard of a transition for us to do. Second of all, Disneyland has more attractions that are offered on it, so you have even if you have the same number of people using it, they have more choices of what to get their reservations for, so it's just spreading it out better. Yeah. And so I just, for whatever reason, and I think those are main big ones, um, it's just working better at Disneyland, which means it's worth it more at Disneyland than it is at Disney World. There are some parks that nobody recommends using Genie, Genie Plus for, really, um, just because it just doesn't, unless you were hopping and you said you were going to be able to use it at multiple parks. And, you know, but, like, everyone says, don't use it at Animal Kingdom. There's no point, you know. Yeah. Whereas at Disneyland, no one's saying that. You can use it easily. Um, and especially since you can hop and it's so easy to hop at Disneyland, that it just makes so much more sense and it works so much better right now. People are happier with it at Disneyland than they are at Disney World. Yes. It's kind of a hot mess at Disney World with Genie Plus, but yeah. Hopefully they get that straightened out before we get to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one is that the Disney, and I've kind of already mentioned it in this episode. But Disneyland Park has the most attractions of any park that Disney has. Um, it's got, what, 55 attractions? They have packed so much into that small space that there is just so much to do. And you can cover it, um, you know, the ground so much quicker because they're right next to each other. You're not wasting time yeah. taking long walks between and attractions. And actually, I just want to point out is that how well they do and making it feel like it's not right on top open. of each other. Like, honestly, yeah. I keep forgetting how much they have like it yeah like it's it's like it looks like they don't have near as much but in a good way sort of right. thing yeah where it's you're not there overwhelmed you feeling yeah it's it's done so well um it's 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 just really good um so for sure that is a definite plus for disneyland yeah i would say what's the last one that you want to mention of our 14 the monorail just looks so much better at disneyland yeah, so they have the monorail both at Disney World and Disneyland. At Disneyland, it's more of an attraction, whereas Disneyland, it is Disney pure, World. or sorry, Disney World, it's purely transportation. It's transportation at Disneyland, too, but it could be used just as, well, I guess you technically could use it as an attraction no matter what, but it's not even inside a park, really, at Disney World. It can take you from park to park uh, for Disney, uh, for Magic Kingdom and Epcot. It can take you around the uh, resorts that are there near Magic Kingdom but at Disneyland it is an actual entrance into the park or exit it goes from Tomorrowland in Disneyland Park to the Disney or downtown Disney area real close to the um, opening entrance over to the Disneyland Hotel and so anyone can use it that's in downtown Disney you don't have to be staying at the Disneyland Hotel so it's not an exclusive access thing but it is so convenient for that hotel and anyone in that downtown Disney area um, and it's just really cool. But but what you were saying is just the look. They upgrade the monorail cars. Yes. They're just so much sleeker mm -hmm. and less bulky. And they get these cool, like, skin overlays where they've, they've gone themed. Like, I remember they've had um, Pixar-themed ones or, you know, they'll go to the classics sometimes. And it's just they get different colors and, and they're definitely more streamlined looking. Um, they just look cooler. And I don't yeah. know why Disney World doesn't do that. Theirs all look old school. They all look like the same they did when they opened 
in the 1970s. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't know why they don't even get a paint job. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I don't know. But Disneyland just looks cooler. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, as the functionality, I guess it depends on what you need it for, whether whether one is better than another. But the look is what you were going for. Yes. Definitely Disneyland has that. Okay, so just like in the Disney World uh, episode, we have some attractions, and you know this because we've talked so many times about how we think basically most of the time if there's an, an attraction that's at both Disneyland and Disney World, most of the time we prefer Disneyland, their yeah. versions. So we picked just the top ones. Okay. This is... I feel... This is going to be controversial. Yeah, this is a bit controversial. <laughs> controversial. I forgot there was a T. Controversial. <laughs> but I think the Haunted Mansion looks so much better at Disneyland. Cause You're talking about the facade. Yes. The outside. Just literally just the outside. Honestly, I don't even remember what it looks like on the inside of Disney World. But... I just think it looks so much better. Now, and I there's feel, not not everybody disagrees. There are a lot of people that do yeah. agree, but there's a lot of people that think that the in general and, the haunted mansion is better at Disney Disney World. And um, I do agree that the one at Disney World does look like a haunted mansion, but for me, it just looks like a slaughterhouse, <laughs> which would be like, appropriate. It fits, for haunted mansion. but I don't know. I just feel like just the whole like it just Disneyland. It just looks. It looks nicer, but, like, almost in an unsettling way. Does that sense? Yeah, and I just feel like it matches the theme of Haunted Mansion better. Or, I don't know, I don't know if it's that, or I just prefer the look of it better. And I think part of it is, this is what you've grown up with more. Yes. Even though... But the thing is, is that it generally just looks better in general, Mm -hmm. not just even Haunted Mansion-wise. Where, again, at Disney World, it's, like, red bricks. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a slaughterhouse, basically. <laughs> and I can't get that out of my head right now. No offense to anyone <laughs> no whose house is red bricks. <laughs> no, it's the style. It's the style. It's not just the red bricks that make it look that way. It's like an older style, like... Yeah. It's an ancient mansion, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so, that, so you prefer the look of the outside of the attraction. Yeah, and also, like... Disneyland it has all these grounds, and this is even talking about the overlay, because that just takes it to a whole nother well, level. Well, both of but, them have the grounds where, like, they have the cemetery, pet cemeteries, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it just looks so much nicer. Okay, so okay. this is a preference thing, and yeah, and some people feel preference. like the queue at Disney World is better because of I think what is it, an organ or something like that that's in the queue, or I don't remember. But the, yeah. here's my reason why I don't disagree. With the Haunted Mansion being better at Disneyland. Two things. First of all, obvious. I love Haunted Mansion holidays. Disney World does not get that holiday overlay that Disneyland does, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite time to go on Haunted Mansion when they have the Haunted Mansion holidays. It's just... Words cannot describe. Oh, gosh. (laughs) How amazing it is with the overlay. Okay, we we just really like it. But the other thing (laughs) is, not even including that... um, I like that the Disneyland has the Hatbox Ghost back. Yes. And Disney World yes. doesn't have the Hatbox Ghost. And that's okay. I don't know why it's it's not at both. I'm not really sure why. It just only ever was at Disneyland for some reason. I can't remember why. That I'll have to look that up and find out. But um, I just think it's cool. It's a, it's a cool ghost. Yeah. I like it. So um, that's why I agree with you that I also think that the Haunt Mansion at Disneyland is better. I know that there are people who do like to go to both parks that agree. But I also know that there are some people that feel like the one at Disney World is yeah. better. So that's going to be... And no, if, if you prefer the Disney World one, the Disney World one, I respect that. <laughs> but you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I personally just think yeah. that Disneyland's is better. And I'm... And I think it really is just a style. Go- I love that yeah. sort of style, especially when it comes with sort of like the haunted sort of like genre sort of thing. So it just works perfectly for me. Yeah. So the other attractions that 
we were we have on our list as being better at Disney World that we um, wanted to point out. Again, these are ones that we've said so many times. Um, do you want to say them or do you want me to? Um, I will. Okay. Um, Big Thunder Mountain. I, I feel like I said that weird. Okay, Big Thunder Mountain. Mm-hmm. Um, Disney World is just, you just kind of go around, right? Well, it's the same track, yeah, it's the same just track. opposite, like mirrored. Yes. But Disneyland the, has the dynamite scene. Yeah. But and I was that's wondering, cool. does Disney World does have the, where it is there? Does it just go up? I think know? it just goes up into a waterfall. I don't think. Okay. They just don't have the explosion. Yeah. Unless it's been added. I don't, it's since the last time I went. Okay. I don't think so. So yeah, Disneyland has the dynamite, which I personally just love. Yeah. I think, I don't know if, I haven't heard of anyone disagreeing with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you're more likely to hear people who disagree. No, I think that um, I think I think that if people are looking at the attraction itself, the ride itself, that yeah, they would probably agree that the Disneyland version is better. I think some people prefer the queue at Disney World because it has some interactive stuff, but I've been on that and I don't feel like it was that worth it. I feel like that I enjoy being in the queue at Disneyland's better. I think it's prettier and shaded, and I mean it's the other one's undercover, but. I just feel like it's prettier. I, you know me. I like the yes. pretty. I like the pretty cues. Yes, you like the pretty. Okay, so next one. It's a small world. Yeah, this oh. is the original. It's a small yes. world for one. And the design is beautiful. Mm-hmm. The facade, the, out, the, yeah, facade the outside. outside is just gorgeous. It's huge. Yeah, and then and it's really like disappointing going to Disney World after being at Disneyland. Yes. If you, if you don't know the difference, you don't know the difference. But. Yeah. At it's Disney World, it it's in Fantasyland, and it's well, it's in Fantasyland on both, but yeah, well, yeah, but it's like in the next to right across from Peter Pan yeah. at Disney World. Mm-hmm. Um, but it matches the medieval theme. It's like under a tent. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So it's a different feel. Different yeah, completely style. different feel. And something that I feel like is just sort of like like how do I describe it? Like the facade on the outside of Disneyland. Like, the design with all the different shapes and craziness. I feel like that's just, like, that's small world. Like, that yeah. sort of style of small world. And Disney World doesn't really have that, at least on the outside. It has a, um, as a backdrop when you're loading on a much smaller scale than Disney yeah. World's. Or Disneyland's. Um, I like that, again, the holiday overlay at Disney Wor- Disneyland <laughs> that Disney World does not get. But I also like that this ride at Disneyland is the original, the one that they used at the the... World Fair in New York, yeah. and so it's the original. It's slightly longer, I think, just by a couple of minutes. Um, but it's just I, I. So I like that. I feel like it's more authentic. It and, is more authentic because it's and the original. And doesn't Disneyland also incorporate Disney characters? Yes, Disney characters are found inside the attraction, which might sound like weird because that uh, it kind of contradicts what I said because it's authentic. It's the original, yeah. And yet it works so well. Yeah, they it did kinda, such a good job. Yeah, it fit in. Yeah, if they don't make them stand out no. that much, they kind of like they like if you look back at Disney World's version, all uh, I don't I don't think all of them, but at least most of them, you'll just find some some other just random, like just another person in the same a doll. spot. Yeah, yeah, another doll in the same spot. So it's not like they're. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's a couple, like, there's aerials. Probably, there's probably a couple, honestly, I don't remember. That have, we, like, their own spot. But We haven't made It's a Small World a priority at Disney World as much because yeah. we like the Disneyland version better, so it doesn't make sense to make to go on it all the time when we go to Disney World. And we yeah. just don't go to Disney World as often anyways. Yeah. So I don't know. But they, I don't remember the They do a, lot of, on a that. good job of making them, like, having them present, they blend but in, not. Yeah, they're perfectly, yeah. appropriately placed. But um, anyway, so I yeah, so I like that about it's a small world, and then the obvious phantasmic. No, 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 no. Sorry, oh. phantasmic. We already talked about the pirates. Sorry, well, pirates. Well, getting there. Sorry, <laughs> pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yes, phantasmic is also obvious. Yeah, pirates of the Caribbean. We have said so many times. It's just better at Disney World or Disneyland. Sorry, Disneyland. Excuse it me? has yeah, <laughs> it has the two drops, the better drops. It's just better at Disneyland. Yes, by far. Uh, so much better. And I don't know that anybody ha- that has gone on both disagrees. I don't think I've ever heard anyone disagree that has been on both. Yeah. I've heard if you poll people in general, there will be some people that will say that Disney World is better because that's the only one they've been on. Yeah. They haven't been to Disneyland yet. And 
everyone that I know that has been to both, they love Disney yeah. Disneyland. And it's like even just like some of the little mini scenes, like that one scene where there's like the half like human person and then mm-hmm. the half skeleton person. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that that it is just cool. adds to it. I'm trying to remember: is Jack Sparrow at Disney World? He might be. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. It's been a long time, and <coughs> last time we went. Wait, this is again last... another attraction that we don't make a priority when we yeah. go to Disney World because was we the just last like the other one better. With Debbie or the Debbie. Oh. Okay, so because we didn't go on that time because we weren't doing the duplicates. Right, exactly. See, that that's yeah. when we're, yeah. And when we went before, it was with the family, but I'm trying to remember if we all went. I think we did. When we we when probably we did. With my mom. We made a point, and we just, we but specifically didn't do the duplicates with Debbie. Yeah. It's just, it's just not, um, it's not as good of a ride. Yeah. And so, uh, I, even whether or not Jack Sparrow's in the Disney World version, which I, I can't, I don't think he is, but I could be totally wrong on that. If he isn't, then that's another plus. Yes, if he isn't, that's another plus. But even it, whether or not he is, the ride itself alone on its own merits is better at Disneyland yes. than Disney World. We enjoy it much better. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, they have the the Blue Bayou right there in the ride, too, which kind of is a fun little perk. or Not perk, but little note yeah. for Disneyland's. Yep. adds to some of the feel of it there um but yeah so all right so those were our things that we would say disneyland definitely does better than disney world again some of those might be our personal opinions <laughs> you can tell us if you agree or not what do you think does do, is there anything we left out what does disneyland do better than disney world um we'd like to hear from you but that's it for us for uh this week thank you so much for listening and we will see you next week see you